Welcome back everybody to Lord of the Rings Gollum. We are getting into what is the 13th part for me. We should be almost through... Is this the 8th chapter I think? What's the name of these my precious? Just plants. <laughs> They're flowers. In there. Pretty flowers. I was t always terrible at identifying plants like obviously I could do you know common ones a glade opens before her large tree in the middle yes we are here the border of our realm where's the breach how do we open it I don't know yet but like when my uncle used to take me through the that was her words and I never said I knew how to open it we only ever tried to close it we there were eight of us. Gwendol was our teacher and mentor. This is where I last saw them. Saw anything for that matter. But there would be like ginseng and bloodroot and yellow root, and he would point all this stuff out to me. Couldn't tell you the difference between them. I mean, looking at the roots, yeah, but looking at the leaves, no. Right here he stood, at the tree. And then he was gone. And the others, dead or worse. And I was blind. Let me think. Gwendol stood here. I was back at the river. The others stood at the six runestones. Each runestone guards one part of the spell. Air, water, circle, binding, mirror, deceit. But they had to be called in the right order. If I could only remember who stood at which stone. Why does it bring us here if it can't remember most important things? Shh. What is it? The air. It still carries their voices. Don't you hear them? Voices? Close your eyes. Ghosts? Not ghosts. Memories. Echoes. This place still remembers my friends. I can't listen to them. I'm too afraid of what I might hear, but the echoes might lead us. How can whispers lead us? Ignore birds, river, and flowers. Just listen. Breathe in the sense. Can you see them? Yes. I must know what happened to the six that stood at the stones. Look around. Follow them. Tell me what you see. Hmm. There we go. There's something finally. Is this one of the stones where the elf stood? If you're standing where I think you are, then yes. Any idea? Hold on. Which elf stood at this stone? No, no. This just goes in a circle, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh no, it did lead somewhere. This stick has elvish marks on it. That must be Eristor's stuff. It's broken. He must have fled that way before the chaos devoured him. Where does the sense lead you? Which so that one. To the stone. Elf with staff. The elf with the staff must have fled from this stone. So this is where Eristor stood. Yes, I think that's right. Three were men and three were maidens. Eristor, Kellen, and Dondofer. Prian, Kethel, and Turian. Eristor, Kellen, Dondofer, Prian, Kethel. If I could remember how it all happened, then maybe I'd remember the order of the spell. Okay. What well, we got over here? Talk Hello, to Bird. Little one, are you hungry? Is he a crow? 
I never trusted crows. Not a crow, no, good bird. Okay, we've already done the staff. You should look around first. Maybe we can find some clues. Okay, so you don't want me to go straight to the stones. Oh, here's something. things. Looks like a knife. Most of us carried one that day. Now focus. Can you follow their echoes? Don't just guess, precious. Look around. I didn't guess. That's where the more broken things. Looks like a knife. Most of us carried one that day. So I guess the knife isn't a clue because most of them had one. So where else around here is there going to be something? Okay, that's the staff which we already found. Talk to the... Can we talk what to Mel? Here? Oh, well. We had almost done it. A haze that would forever hide our realm from the eyes of the Mirkwood. But there was one last breach left for us to close. Here, at the Enchanted River. And so we did. We all had our part to play. Mine was to calm the river and win her over. But I didn't trust the water. I warned Gwendo, but he wouldn't listen. We closed the breach, but then... All I remember is a glaring light, fair like silk, but unrelenting. When I woke up, there was only darkness and silence. I called their names, called Gwendolyn, but there was nothing. So you see, I need to find Gwendolyn. I must. Now well, we've been lying to you, so... Do I need to go farther away from this? Because I'm not finding anything else. I don't think I would need to go too far away. Yeah, because I'm not finding anything out here, so... Maybe if I stand on the spot and then do the intuition... Yeah, that's just the knife, isn't it? And more broken things. Looks like a knife. Most, Most of, of them. Carried one yeah. Day. Wants to keep looking. So clearly I'm wrong about that. Okay, let's look here. Don't just guess. I'm not. Maybe if I stay in this. Nothing's popping up. I mean, that's the only thing coming up. Okay, I'm just gonna have to look around. It has to be. Blood. Looks like one of them jumped into the water here. It must have been their last hope, but the river is treacherous. 
go into the river and dive. Don't drink from the river. Wow, that's deeper than I thought it was. Are you all right? The river is fickle. I told you, come back here. Found the other half of that blade. Made of an anchor, we think. Don't the fair carry the knife like that. Okay, so I think that was this no one. Of <laughs> Nothing. Tell me what you think. Elf with the knife. Knife. Don't do for Yes, yes. Let's see where it leads us. Okay, so clearly I need to go farther away from places. Let's see what's out here. Footprints here. Make it. I'm guessing over the stones. Oh, come on, Smeagol. Okay, well, we're clearly going to this little island, so. Faces. There are faces in the stone. Faces? Cursed elf faces. Looks like two sea elves. They must have tried to hide. Oh, there's... Okay, well, I went down that one. What's over here? <laughs> did one of them wear feathers? We all did. Well, except Kathy. She had her beautiful braids. Okay, so the blue one. I wonder one. if any of them got away. Mel heard the Riddle Master's voice, didn't she? Yes, though I dare not hope too much. Hope can be fickle. So? so? With the braids? Braids. Kathy, then. Or one of the others. Okay. I'm confused. Ooh, what's up? Smeagol found boots! Oh, yes, those are Beturians. She always needed to feel the earth. There was marks of bare feet over there. Boots, the feet. Barefooted. This is where the barefoot elf must have been. Very well. Okay. What is there? One more to go now? Have I been over here? Wait, that's some climbing stuff. Let's see where this goes, even though it's probably just some extra, like, collectible or something. Actually, with that whispering, maybe this is where I'm supposed to go. Yep. Found a bow! What color is the grip? Blue. Then it must have been Kellen's. Uh. 
Oh, that was a little dramatic. So this one was the bow. Bow in the tree. Kellon. Good. On to the next one. Wasn't that one, two, three, four. Oh. Um, the one I haven't done, feathers. She elf with feathers. That would be all of them. Let me see. <sighs> Something must be wrong. Okay, so they can't go in the wrong spot. Well, the only two that I'm unsure about are the feathers and the braid. So. No, no. Let's switch them. So this one will go with the braid, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then where was the feathers one? Did that one disappear now? Oh, I think I got it. Turian, Kellon, and Catherine. Yes. There we go. I think that's where they all stood. Quest, Nen, Gwilet, Kendril, Ringhorn, Luz. Quest, Nen, Gwilet, Kendril, Okay, something's happening. What do we got? Purpleness is gone. Is it friendly, this breach door? <laughs> I hope so. But the woods beyond, they are not. Stay hmm. close. You will get lost without me. I mean, usually that's our line. You know? Smingle's usually the one that always knows where he is. Well, if you're not going, I'll go. Oh, let me rest here for a while. Okay. Tired it looks, yes. Oh, I know that look. And spent. Of course, we can wait. Are you gonna kill her? Pity I don't have my eyes now. We can be her eyes. Picture beautiful gardens for her. Then she will see. Yes, she will see. Well, at least it's going to do it off camera no, if he no, goes. No time for rest. Not now. Yes, now. Now. Poor blind, lonely elf. We shall be her eyes. I am ready. Hmm. I mean... Let's lure her to sleep. Or but tell her to go in. Nice place. Not at all. Not for us, no, but the elf will have it. Let me be the judge of that. Is the moon shining now? Moon is always spying, I guess. I never looked up to an arm. white face, it's always watching. Not safe here in the light. Are you starting at that again? I should have looked at it more often, and so should you. Nice moon, yes. Blind elf can picture it in her mind. What about the birds? Tell me about them. Birds, yes, high up in the trees, watching, always watching. There was crow. Our crow, at least. Blackbirds, just sitting and watching, all silent. The silent ones I don't trust. Perhaps we should go now. Keep going. This used to be such a beautiful place. Stones, mushroom, I mean, we were by the river. Yeah. Dark water falling 
from above. Who knows? Should he stay close to cursed water? Yes, yes. I hear it mocking me. Gwendol should never have asked the river for help. No, we won. Good. Picture the flowers for me. Irises. The entire glade used to be overgrown with I mean, them. They must be in full bloom now. There's yellow, lavender, orange. A lot of green stuff. That, that's about all I can help you with. Beds of iris is so nice. All swallowed by mist, holding them in their cool Yes, now it sees. Now it sees. Iris is. Iris is. Time is not spent. Iris. Iris has no scent. You are mad. He goes riddle. We remember. I remember. There was irises everywhere. Yellow ones like here, and they light eagle, and looked up into the sky. Oh, are we doing flashback? No. No, no, wake up! He tried to steal it. Tried to get away with our precious. But we didn't let him, did we? No. Well, at least she's alive. Not entirely sure Smeagol would have actually done that, but... It's gone! The breach is gone! You ruined it! We would have been free! You killed him! You weak! You weak! All those years sitting in a cave eating fish. We could have been a lord. I hate you. No wonder the precious left you. And I hate the precious. Be quiet. Smigo having an existential crisis. Just going in a straight path here. Say, say something. My precious. Be gone there. Be gone. Don't judge your problems. Be useless. Useless. I mean, there was, you know, in the Lord of the Rings, when Smeagol got Gollum to go away, quote-unquote, for a while, so. Oh. Oh, huh? wait a second. Something, something's different. There we are. This isn't the other side. No, it's not. <laughs> Finally, we told you he wouldn't get far. Our king has a few questions for you. And wouldn't some answers be sweet? Well, I guess we didn't escape the elves. Okay, that was chapter eight. Ten days. He could help us, yes, perhaps. Help us escape. If he's truly alive, the little master, if it was his voice we heard in the mists. Your supper. Yes. Where's the other one? The cook. It is me now. Has they found the Gwendol elf yet? Still nothing but escape in that twisted mind of yours. 
else has been looking. Not all of us are so quick to believe Mel. Yes, wicked elf got into our head, forced us to free her. Mm, we warned you. Maybe Nelvis can help you. She knew Gwendol better than most of us. She's upstairs with her lanterns. Although, I doubt she still wants to talk to you. Okay, well. That's it for this episode, guys. So if you are enjoying this, consider giving me a subscription. But for now, have a great day, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.